Hey guys, Shaper1000 here. Today we're going to do a double review. First, we're going to talk about this toaster oven we have right here, and then we're going to review this frozen meal from the Dollar Tree. So, let's review these together and see if they're any good. Okay guys, first off, we got this toaster oven here. Now, we didn't buy this. This was given to Monkey from one of her patients. The old gentleman said that uh, he bought it, he used it one time to cook a hamburger in, and never used it after that. We have never used it, we've had it, I don't know, a year and a half going on two years um, but it does I mean it's nice it's nice it's an Oster O-S-T-E-R Oster I believe that's how you pronounce it Oster Oster uh, it, it, like I said it's a toaster oven You, it's got a timer it's got a, a warm setting you got a broil setting toast bake and a turbo which has a fan on it then you've got your temperature here which you can set your temperature on as well so if you want it on toast you put it up there okay now we do have the manual for this so I'm going to check on the manual about some things but like this okay I know this is this is a drip pan it, it can go there underneath that for a drip pan or for broiling and also this rack here also doubles as feet see it's got like feet feet on it so you can set it down on something and use it as a cooling rack okay but and also it's got your drip tray in here so I don't think that'll fit in there no. So there's your drip pan. But what I'm going to do, just in case, I am going to go ahead and put this in here. Like this. I'm going to put this pan in here so I don't spill anything. Alright? Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to review this Banquet Salisbury Steak Meal. It's got mac and cheese made with real cheese well I would hope that it's not made with fake cheese I I mean whenever I see something like that it makes me wonder what is in here I don't I don't read these on the back the ingredients it would probably scare me now it says on here you can microwave it you can put it in a conventional oven but it says do not prepare in toaster oven now I don't know what the difference would be as long as this gets to 165 degrees in the center, which I think it's what it calls for. Yeah, it calls for the check check that food is thoroughly to is cooked thoroughly to 165 degrees. So I don't I don't realize I don't know what the difference would be. Now I got this up here for a reason. I got this bread up here. Okay. Now I cannot see. Firing this big oven up to cook this one thing, and I cannot see firing this big thing up to cook a couple to toast a couple pieces of bread. It just it it to me it doesn't make sense why you can't cook this in here, uh, and why I mean. Okay, what if what if you want to put a bunch of pieces of toast in there? Okay, maybe I can see that. But they have toasters, you know, eight, uh, four, two slice, six slice, four slice. I think they even go up to eight slice. Anyway, maybe if you're doing a whole bunch, it, it would constitute that. But it doesn't constitute if I want to have lunch and I just want this. You know, why should I have to fire up the big, the big oven just to cook this thing? I mean, it's a waste of resources, waste of electricity or gas or whatever you're using. Microwave, sure, put it in the microwave, but it always tastes better. These things always taste better when you cook them in the oven. 
Okay, so now in the conventional oven, it says to preheat oven to 350 50 degrees and cut a slit in the film to vent. Cook on baking sheet in center of oven. So that's what we're going to do. We're going to preheat this to 350 degrees. And it says uh, 24 to 26 minutes. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to cook it for about... Well, first I'm going to preheat this. I'm going to preheat this to uh, 350 degrees. I'm, go I'm going to get it ready. Then I'm going to set the timer, and I'm also going to set the timer on the big oven to see how close these timers are, because it's just got one of those tick, 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 tock things, and a little dinger. So, let me check this out, let me get it preheating, and then we're going to put this in the oven. Okay, guys. I let this heat up, I've got it on bake, it also has a turbo, and it's got a fan in it. Okay? Now, I don't know if I should use that or not, so I'm just going to put it on bake. I've cut a couple slits in the top here and there. And I'm going to put these in here for 24 to 26 minutes. Set this for 25 minutes, and we're going to set our kitchen timer for 25 minutes and then we're going to see how well this does also it came with this handy dandy little book 101 things to do with a toaster oven well I know one thing it says not to do and that's uh, bake what we're baking in there right now so but you know it's kind of like a little cookbook you can do parmesan, you can do uh, chicken enchilada, uh, meat lasagna stacks, uh, baked mac and cheese, toaster oven sandwiches, so th this will come in handy. I don't know that we'll ever use this. We may end up selling at a yard sale or something. I don't know. Uh, maybe the plastic will melt that the food's in, but we'll just have to see and go from there. Okay, so this ding just now, so it's about... You see that it's just about one minute fast so you know that's that's pretty close I'm good with it so far I like this thing but let's check and see how this does all right now I'm going to use my thermometer here it's got veal pork and everything then it's got a blank one for if you don't know what kind of meat it is. I don't know what that is. I do know, I was reading up on it, it does have, it's got uh, mechanically separated chicken, pork, water, beef, and soy. So it's like a four meat slurry. But let's stick this in here and see if we can get it up to 165. Okay, we, we got up higher. We got it up to 185 I don't know if you can see that or not okay so clear that so let's take this out and we'll give it a try and see what it tastes like alright guys now it also said to wait two minutes so I waited two minutes and while I was doing that I went ahead and moved the uh, the toaster oven off of the big oven that we had it sitting on okay so this is supposedly made with real cheese I mean some of the ingredients in this I just I wanted to kind of give you an idea of what might what kind of meat might be in this uh, chicken pork beef and of course it's got soy flour so first let's uh and we got this all kind of stirred up here mixed up It doesn't look bad. Surprisingly, that does taste very good. It does. It's, of course, nothing like homemade. But it's every bit as good as what you get in a box, you know. So, let's try. Let's try a piece of the Salisbury steak. 
And again, like I said, I, um, I bought it for a dollar at the Dollar Tree. So, and as far as I'm concerned, the uh, the toaster oven, thumbs up. It's a great oven. I, you know, there's so much you can do with it. I think I'm going to start using it more now. So let's try this. Well, it tastes like a dollar piece of meat, but it, it does taste every bit as good as uh, Stouffer's or any other kind of Salisbury steak that you may buy. I'm not cutting either one of them down, but for a dollar, go buy you a bunch of these, keep them in the freezer for, you know, lunches. If you got a microwave at work, which I do, uh, you can get you know a snack at night because you throw them in the microwave yeah it's good it, it is well worth a dollar absolutely um, microwave you microwave it I'm reading the box here on high for two minutes of course you cut a slit in the film then you stir the macaroni and cheese and replace the film then you microwave an additional one and a half to two and a half minutes then you let stand for two minutes. So, I mean, yeah, it's great for lunches and snacks. So there you have it. Another review. Dollar Tree uh, frozen meals like this. Yeah, it's worth a dollar. It's nothing spectacular, and of course it's nothing like homemade. But uh, it's well worth a dollar. I mean, I've paid more for worse food than this at restaurants. So, uh, and no, I'm not going to name any names. You know who you are. <laughs> But anyway, guys, so there you go. Uh, the review of the Oster Toaster Oven. Amazing. It's awesome. It's got the turbo on it. It's 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 cool. I like it. Um, and these frozen meals, uh, which is uh, the buffet, I think it's called. Yeah. Yeah, very good. Well worth the buck. It'll pick you up some. Throw in the microwave for a quick snack or lunch. Especially for kids, you know, like like this wouldn't fill me up. But for lunchtime, yeah, it, it would keep me going till dinner time. Um, so there you go, guys. Uh, another review. Thanks for watching, guys. Uh, I give it two thumbs up, and I give the toaster oven a two thumbs up. So again, thanks for watching. Appreciate it. And I'm gonna say, Shea Bear, I'm gone for now. The myth, the man, the legend. Bye, bye, guys. Take care.